Well, hey there, let's talk about how to weave in your ends when you have all these wonderful ends from doing color work. I know it's a little bit daunting, but hidden underneath these long floats are the stitches we're gonna be looking for. So the trick is to only weave in your ends under stitches that match the same color. Obviously that's super important because we don't wanna see these woven in ends showing up on the other side. So look between your floats. I encourage you to just kind of pull them back a little bit and you wanna look for the stitches that are underneath. So for example, with this light gray color, I'm gonna weave it in into the stitches that are hiding under my floats. I'm just gonna tuck them under the pearls. Now there are a lot of different ways that I weave in ends. This is one way that just makes it kind of easy. And if you're using a sticky yarn, then you don't have to weave super far. You should be able to, to keep them in place. But if you're not, you know, give it a little bit more distance and then just tuck it into those pearls and then call it good. It'll just slightly move your float out of the way and that's okay. Now, so here we have this one. I'll just switch to the next color here and we're gonna go up and we're gonna look for where this is used in the pattern. You can see up here, this is where we have those little pearl bumps underneath or kind of between hidden under the floats. So that's where we're gonna weave in this end. We're just gonna follow these little pearl bumps. Like I said, I, I do lots of different methods for weaving in, but for this particular project, this is a little bit easier. Now, if you're using a slippery yarn and you're finding that you're really having trouble, then you can take it a step further. And let me show you what I mean by that. If you can find, hopefully this is close enough, if you can see the little full stitch revolutions under here, you can actually follow those around. So I would probably start right here. It's a little bit fiddlier and kind of make some complete stitches, like follow the complete stitch, if you can see it behind there. See how we have a little stitch there and I'm kind of going around and repeating exactly what the stitch looks like behind the scenes here. Do you see how I'm doing that? And this is more of my traditional weaving in approach. I'm following the exact path of the stitch and weaving it that way. So it ends up that you can't even see the woven stitch at all. It makes it really, really secure. If you are dealing with like a slick yarn, that would be a better way to do it. However, if you have a yarn that's a little bit sticky, like the Harrisville Flywheel or Jameson or something that's got a little bit more of a sticky scratchiness to it, then just doing in those little pearl bumps will be plenty. So do that throughout. The most important part is that you don't want, and I'll just get some more yarn on here. You don't want to just weave it under these big floats. That's not going to secure it enough to give you a, a safe secured thread. So you want to kind of look underneath the floats, find where that stitch is used, and then follow the little pearl bumps and weave it that way. And if it gets a little goofy, like here, you know, we kind of jump over because there's no more stitches in that color. So I'll just jump over to where I see that color used again and then weave in a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to follow, kind of jump a little ways, kind of weave under here. I'm gonna just go under some floats to get it over to the section that has more of this color. And now I can hop in and go back to doing the little tucking into the pearl bumps like I did before. Does that make sense? And then you can just snip those off. Always leave just a little bit, quarter of an inch, half an inch um, to be safe so that once you block it, if there's any movement, you won't lose anything. But now those are ready to go. And then I'm just gonna complete that process with the rest. I know it's a little bit tedious, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it. So don't overthink it. Just look underneath your floats and use the pearl bumps and you'll be good to go.